When you leave those doors of your home, you don't know if you're gonna come back. We got in a car accident. Oh my god! I just don't know, like, if my baby's okay. We left that morning super happy. Life was amazing. Boom, our life changed. So July 27, 2022 was one of the hardest, scariest days of our life and we're thankful to be here and be sharing this with you guys. We got in a car accident that hit passenger side which was the side I was sitting with our baby boy and we're grateful and blessed to be here because things could have been a lot different, but you guys are a family too. So we wanted to update you guys. And that's one of the reasons we haven't been as active as we usually are here on YouTube. But as you guys can see from the thumbnail, I was rushed to the hospital and I thank God that my baby's okay and I'm okay, but mm -hmm. it really could have been different. A lot worse. I'm a lot and, worse. Yeah, it could have been very different and maybe I wouldn't be here right now so I just kind of want to update you guys on what happened and let you guys know the whole story because many of you guys did see a little video I put on TikTok with my arm bracelet and it's like oh she was at the hospital is everything okay um I wasn't really planning to talk about this or do a video mm -hmm. but I think it is necessary because we told you guys that you know you guys were going to come on this journey with us and that means the good the bad the happy the ugly we want you guys to be part of everything i didn't post it immediately you know it's been two days since the accident but i feel like i'm ready to talk about it now um it was traumatizing um but i feel like i'm ready and you know we're at a, we're at a better state of mind yeah, um, for sure. and we're back home in tampa as well so we do live in florida but um earlier this week we left to miami florida which is four hours away from where we live so to start off where do we even start, babe? I don't know. It's a long story. Well, yeah, it's yeah. a lot. We're going to really show you guys everything. I mm -hmm. do have some clips on my phone as well from that night. From that day, actually, because that day was very long. Mm -hmm. But but really, it all just started in Miami. Yeah. So we were down in Miami. We were very excited to go to Miami. Yeah, we went it's to, been a while since we've been back. Yeah, and as many of you guys know, that's where we graduated. And mm -hmm. we lived there for a few years when we went to college. So yeah, Miami just always had a special spot in our heart. It still does. Oh. You know, it still does. It's just, it was tough. Mm -hmm. So we got there on Wednesday. Um, we checked into the hotel. Everything was good. And, you know, we went out to eat to our, one of our favorite places to eat there. Everything was just going really good. Yeah, um, everything was amazing. Yeah, the hotel was nice. Like there was no problems getting there. Everything went smooth. We were supposed to vlog for you guys on Thursday, which was the next day. Yeah. So but that's when everything happened. Yeah, so on Thursday, we wake up early in the morning. It was just like a normal morning. Everything was going as usual. We get ready, we head out to the hotel, we go have brunch. It's a really nice place where we go have brunch at. Um, the food was really good. Everything was going good. And then, you know, our university was only like five minutes away. So we went to our university that we graduated from. We went there for a little bit. We walked around. After that, we leave. We had a special dinner that we were going to go to. Yeah, our dinner. Night. So we were really excited. Our dinner started at 6.30. And um, we were all very excited. We we're going to meet up with some friends. And everything was just... So oh, normal. Yeah, was Everything like normal was like day. a normal day. If anything, day. it was more of a, one of our better days. Exactly. One of like really good days. And then um, that all changed real quick. So after visiting FIU, we decided to stop at Target. Then after Target, we went to go eat again at lunch because I got hungry. The thing about Miami is our favorite food places are in Miami. So when we yeah. go to Miami, we make sure to stop at every single one of them. We gain a few pounds every time we go to Miami, but yeah. it's all worth it. <laughs> yeah, we love to eat there. So uh -huh. again, Again, it was a really really exciting day and we have lunch and then I look at the clock it was like four and I was like babe we're gonna have to start heading back to the hotel because like I don't want to be late and you know we gotta start getting ready for dinner tonight yeah. so he was like all right babe let's go so that's 
pretty much leading to what happened but um basically we were going back to our hotel and i was on my phone editing a video for tiktok <laughs> mm. and i was just editing anthony was striving thankfully i had my seatbelt on and all i could remember is i'm gonna play a clip for you guys when the accident happened so you guys could see my reaction and please don't judge the video it was a very vulnerable moment in my life we were vlogging a little bit at fiu with our phone because we forgot our camera at the hotel so i was you know with the phone vlogging and we never finished the vlog at fiu and in the car i kind of wanted to wrap it up so i was recording when everything happened and i was just like guys like we left fiu we had a great time we love our college like you know kind of just saying a little bit about yeah. everything and while I was vlogging, I wasn't paying attention to the road, obviously, because I wasn't driving. I was driving. Yeah. And all I remember was like, oh my gosh, it's, it was crazy because all I remember was just getting struck, like literally mm -hmm. getting struck. Like our car got struck on the side really, really hard. The airbags came out. Yeah, so. And it was on my side. It was on my side where the hit the car it was really scary and all i remember was like everything kind of started going slow motion no. and my head started spinning because i i was on my phone and i was like wait hold on i remember this... you asking me are you dreaming <laughs> yeah i i was just like so many things were coming in my head because i was like what like no. what's going on i felt the car not fly but Kind of, I felt like kind of like spin. It was so scary because I've never been through a car accident like this. And yeah. all I could think of was about my baby. It was just really hard because as a mom, like I don't know my baby yet, but I love my baby so much. And I was devastated. Like the worst things came to my mind. Did I lose my baby? I wasn't even really worried about myself. I was just like, is my baby okay? Is my baby okay? And my stomach, and I did feel pain in my stomach. So I was just like crying really bad. And I was really shocked, really scared. And this is the clip right here. You're gonna be okay, baby. Baby, you're gonna be okay. Baby, for real, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay, for real. Come on, let's 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 get out of here, babe. Okay, for real, let's get out the car. Come on. Oh my God! Car, How do I get out? You, you have to reach over me. Reach out, reach over me. Over here, oh my gosh! I don't know. It feels like a dream. It doesn't even feel real. Is my baby okay? You're gonna be okay, babe. Okay. Hey, sit down. Sit down. Right here. Just sit. Just sit down. Sit down right here. Sit down. Right here. <laughs> you okay? No. <laughs> okay? I mean, I feel fine, but I'm pregnant. I'm five months. So I don't know if I'm okay. Baby, <laughs> baby, stop crying, baby. It's okay. Please. Don't I'm just up. scared. Okay. My baby's okay. okay. The baby's fine. The baby's fine. It's okay. Yeah, like the impact was like on my side and like. Yeah, pain on the side. No, I don't have pain. I just, I just don't know. Like, if, if my baby's okay, you know. Oh, hold on, y'all. I'm really not trying to cry right now. I'm sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, it was a really traumatic moment. Yeah, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. Whoever of you guys have been in a car accident, you guys. Then y'all know it's not easy. And especially when it's on your side and when the airbags come out and i remember anthony was like baby are you okay is the baby okay and I was that was like, all i was worried about like i wasn't worried about me i was just worried about my baby and if you were okay yeah and i was just like this this has to be a dream this yeah. has to be a dream I, I can't too, this cannot be real it did not feel real i, I promise it felt like i was somewhere mm. else like it was not real and then i saw the car the airbags and i was mm. like oh my gosh this is real like we just got in a car accident and then it's like yeah babe we got in a car accident are you okay he was trying to calm me down he was like mm. relax cause that was the most important thing for me because you know we we had to stay calm in order to figure out exactly what was going on yeah i was, remember i was shaking i was so nervous and i was just like is my baby okay is my mm -hmm. baby okay and then the police came and they're like you're pregnant and i'm like yes i'm 23 weeks i was actually 23 weeks that day guys like literally i just turned 23 weeks and it was just so emotional because you know just the thought of like losing our baby or 
or a baby getting hurt is just so heartbreaking to me and like yeah. I was just thinking the worst and Anthony was telling me calm down calm down and that's when like the police came and everything and they rushed me to the hospital and um, I'll continue but just you can tell your part where like what did you see like because you were behind the wheel so you can explain to them like how it happened so everything really just like, happened so fast ugh, yeah um it was the first time i've ever been in any type of accident like that and it was just really scary because i know people who's been in that same type of accident and you know they don't make it from that yeah the worst thing in my mind was are we still alive after this you know because like i said i've never been in any type of accident like that where the airbag had to come out and like anna what she said how we were in one spot and then we ended up in a whole completely another spot is true like i don't even know how we got there like, i think our day, car must have like how we got there i don't know and yeah it was the strangest thing like i've never been through anything like that so you know my immediate first thought was is Anna okay? You know, I look over to her side and, you know, she's still okay. Like, she's talking. She's in shock, really. Like, she's not really saying anything. She's in shock. She's just looking around, like, in disbelief that this actually happened. So, the first thing I did was just make sure that she was okay because the car literally hit her side. Thank it was God. this close to my door. Yeah, it was like, this close to my door, guys. It was super close to the door. So, thank God it wasn't any closer because if it was any closer, who knows what could happen. Like, I just know that God was with us that day. And I know he was with the other car that day, too, because the other people in the car, nothing happened to them, too. Like, they were okay. I was really scared for my baby because that's the stuff that you can't really see. Like, you can see cuts. You can see... You know if you break an arm or something like that but you can't really see inside so i didn't really know what was going on with my baby so that was really really was getting on to me so that, so that was really on my mind and um the scariest day of my life i don't know like i didn't see the accident happen anthony can probably tell you a little bit about mm. how it happened but mm. i was just on my phone and just imagine just being on your phone and all of a sudden like your world changes and mm -hmm. and it was two so seconds. that's what i'm saying it happened so fast in like, two seconds you never know what could happen from the time that you get to your car and you leave and you go to where you're going you never know what can happen the accident that we just went through it really did happen so fast the last thing i remember is turning to get on the highway and then getting hit by a car like literally the last second it was so weird how it happened too because like it happened so fast but the moment we got hit it's like i could see the other car hitting us in slow motion like it took so long for it to hit us it's oh hard to God. explain like i, I told and you I this and you told me that too but who knows if i would have been here today telling this story no. god was protecting us i really do think it was god because i know god was definitely watching over us that day literally i felt like i saw my life flash before my eyes and it was the scariest thing but that happened it happened so quick then they rushed me to the hospital i was still very nervous i didn't know what to think i called my mom i was crying my mom was very supportive she's like listen i know she was worried i know she was very scared and very worried but she's like listen don't panic like you're okay the baby's okay everything's gonna be okay like you're fine and i was just very stressed out and my belly was hurting so that made it worse and i was like i couldn't understand why my belly was hurting because i didn't hit my belly on the dashboard but this side right here where the car hit us it was hurting it took us to emergency room and as you can see here i'm entering emergency room scared not knowing what's going on i was able to calm down for a little bit anthony was next to me the whole time and he was like babe you know don't panic like it's gonna be okay like we're gonna be fine just relax because it's not good for the baby and deep down i wanted to break down and cry but yeah. i knew that that would hurt the baby even more mm -hmm. so i i had to really be strong yeah, and you were really strong because our baby can literally feel everything i feel like everything all the emotions i feel he could feel and i don't want i didn't i don't want to put him through that i like i realized that you know i even realized when the accident happened like after calling my mom and stuff and anthony being by my side like i'm like okay i can't panic like i know this is scary anna and i know this is crazy what just happened but keep your calm you know i was trying to talk positive to myself and i finally you know we finally went upstairs i was a little bit more calm but this is where it kind of changed i really had to go pee and 
I didn't want to go pee. Like, I was scared to pee. Like, I know it sounds weird, but I was, like, scared to pee because I was like, no, I can't pee. Like, I can't pee. I just got to, you know, make sure my baby's okay first. I got to, not like, I wasn't worried about anything. I was like, I just have to, baby, yeah. I just want to know if my baby's, baby's okay. okay. And I was telling the nurses, like, please, like, I have abdominal pain. Like, my belly hurts. Like, I need to know if my son is fine. You know, that was, like, one of the worst moments was just, like, waiting for them to take her back there yes. to do the ultrasound because, like, in that time, we didn't know what was going on. Yeah, and they were taking a long time because they said they only had, like, one doctor ultrasound, there, or yeah. ultrasound technician, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, you know, I couldn't really hold my pee anymore, but I was calm. I was sitting down waiting for them to call me, and then <sighs> I go in the bathroom, and oh my gosh, I pee. I don't see blood or anything, so, you know, I'm fine. And I was wearing red panties. I know yeah. TMI, but... I was wearing red panties, so when I pulled them down, I couldn't see blood or anything, but, you know, obviously they're red. When I wiped, I saw blood, and that was it for me. Like, I lost it. Like, I literally lost my... Like, I was trying to be strong and calm for my baby, but when I saw blood, I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is it. Like, my... Like, blood is not good. Like, if you guys know, when you're pregnant, if you see blood, like, that's... A big red flag like you have to go see your doctor and I've never bled with being pregnant like the first two months I did have my period but after that I've never bled and when I saw blood I literally just got dizzy like and I was like there's no way like no like my baby like did I you know did I lose my baby did this miscarriage like what's going on and I remember coming out the bathroom and I was crying like mind you I, I went in calm and I came back out crying and Anthony's like are you okay and I was just like crying and I was like no I'm, I'm bleeding like this is not a good sign and the nurse is like no my heart sunk when I heard her say that yeah, I was like, this is not a good sign. And the doctor, she was very nice that was there. She was like, yeah, that's not a good sign. And that just made me even feel yeah, worse. worse. But so she was just trying to keep it real. Keep it honest, yeah. And she's like, you need to go to the back. Um, and we need to see if you're getting contractions. Mm, that really got me scared. And because was, she basically said that if Anna was having contractions, that they would have to deliver the baby today i would have to have my baby at 23 weeks you know what are the possibilities of a baby being born at 23 weeks and making it like it's 50 percent and i just lost it i was like oh my god like this cannot be going on right now like i was so nervous and the ultrasound people still weren't coming up and mm. the other nurses just rushed me to the back yeah, so they put they put her on a machine that would monitor to see if she was having contractions or not and the scariest part too was when they put like the contraction belt or whatever it's called the doctor was trying to find the heartbeat and for some reason she couldn't find the heartbeat at first oh, and no. I was thinking the worst. I was like, oh my God, I saw blood. Now I don't hear my baby's heartbeat. Like, like is everything okay? And Anthony was next to me the whole time. I could see the nurse trying to find the heartbeat. And I'm like, why, why are you not hearing the heartbeat? And she's like, oh, you know, I, I'll find it. And I'm like, no, like, why are you not hearing the heartbeat? Because usually when I go to my other appointments here at home, like, they find the heartbeat like this. But that nurse was really trying to find our baby's heartbeat and no. it took her like like at least like 15 minutes yeah at least i was so nervous i was so scared i sorry okay i need to like i need a minute i can't get worked up i can't work get worked up no, i'm sorry guys i just i can't get worked up because i i can't do it, it to my baby i don't want my baby to feel worked up or anything he already went through a lot this yeah, he week does. He, he doesn't need no more stress he doesn't need he it really just thinking know. about it makes me that's why it took me two days to make this video because if i would have made yeah. it sooner i you guys would have seen mm. me bawling like you did see in throughout the videos so to make a long story short with that they found the heartbeat after about 15 minutes or so she said it was because um, he was moving he was a moving. lot that's basically what we found out so they find the heartbeat and then anna she's on this machine for about an hour and they finally call her back to do the ultrasound now this is the moment when we truly find out if everything is fine i was so if you know nervous. there's nothing moved around if the baby's okay so they end up taking us back there i couldn't go into the ultrasound that was room. the worst part that was the worst part because yeah. they were like because of covid and the yeah. room is it not really that big small. he yeah. can't go back there with you and i was like please yeah. i was like i want my husband to be here with me and they're like i'm sorry he's yeah. gonna be on the same floor but he's gonna have to be in the waiting room yeah. so but we were literally 
rooms across from each other so it was not like, really i was in the end of the hall the end of the hall yeah you're right i was so scared <laughs> but i wasn't too far away so um she ended up going back to the room the ultrasound i thought it would take a little while but it they actually did it pretty fast they did so i got so, got in there and yeah you can talk more about that because i wasn't in the room yeah so i got in there and the nurse kind of just asked me again what happened and i had to like repeat everything while like my eye while i was bawling and she's like calm down it's okay and i, and I was like okay so i kind of calmed down i told her exactly what happened how like we got hit and it was on my side the airbags came out and i just wanted to make sure my baby's okay because it was a very very strong hit and then i told her how i saw blood and she's like oh that's not good and then she's like okay we're gonna make sure that your placenta is still attached Mind you, I wasn't thinking of placentas or anything, but placenta obviously is what like holds the baby. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of incidents where, oh my gosh, it's heartbreaking, but where moms get in accidents, like pregnant moms, the hit is so hard that the placenta detaches, detaches and they have to perform an emergency mm -hmm. C-section. She was just kind of preparing me to hear the worst. And she was like trying to keep me calm, but she was like, listen, like this could, possibly happen but calm down everything's gonna be fine and i was just like losing it i was like oh hell no like i was like oh no like there's no way and at this time i just remember praying and i was like god please like you gave me my son you gave me your blessing like please don't take him away like please have him be okay have all his organs all his uh, body parts just i was praying everything. that whole time we were in i was in the waiting room i was praying that whole time yeah because... everything be okay like please like my son is special and uh, and we love him so much already please lord like please let everything be okay with my baby like i was just praying i remember the nurse is like are you okay and i'm like yeah and like i was just like praying under my breath and i couldn't see like the the sonogram screen like it was like the nurse was the only one that could see i kept on trying to look and, and she's like you have to lay back and i was like i just want to see my baby please is he okay she's like i'll tell you in a minute i'll tell you in a minute those minutes were literally the longest minutes of my life like i just had to lay back and in pure silence like she wasn't telling me anything she was just like searching everything and i guess she didn't want to tell me like yeah the baby's okay and then something was wrong or like something's wrong and then like this is fine like she just wanted to give me like the full results and then finally literally that was probably like five ten minutes but it felt like the longest five minutes of my life and i just kept praying and then finally she said your baby is okay and i was like oh my god I was like are you sure she's like yeah everything's fine baby is good your placenta is normal it hasn't detached like his heart rate is fine too baby is moving a lot <laughs> she like turns the screen to me and i could see my baby literally just moving like nothing happened <laughs> like it was just like moving and strong, i just strong strong baby yeah like literally nothing happened and i was just like baby and she's like i i started crying again but this time i wasn't really crying because i was stressed i was crying because i was like relieved and happy and she's like no don't cry because that's gonna make it worse for the baby like and i'm like no no no. but i'm crying because i'm happy and she's like okay good but try to like keep your calm and don't you know overwhelm yourself but i was so happy and i was like my baby's fine and and i just made sure like i literally asked her i think over 10 times i'm like are you sure he's okay like are all his body parts there like is his head okay like everything his face i wanted to see his face and she's like yeah everything's fine but his face was like kind of like looking up i was like i want to see his face so uh, i kind of like went like this like kind of oh my, my belly and then he turned around and his face was like Fine. and i was just like oh my god i felt literally so relieved like i felt like someone took a hundred pounds off my back because that was all i was worried about my baby like my baby's health like is he okay like i don't care if i which by the way yeah i scraped my knee and um remember how i told you guys earlier how my tummy was hurting the car was hit so hard that I was wearing my seatbelt, thank God. But the seatbelt held me back so hard. I have bruises right here. I'm going to show you guys. Look, right here. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's really bad. My baby's fine, though. I have a bruise right here, too. I obviously couldn't see those bruises right then and there. It took a minute for it to get purple like this. But I felt you know how it was hurting so that's why i was so scared but thankfully everything was good baby boy is great but i was still worried because i had to go back and still do blood work so yeah when i found out about the ultrasound i was pretty much 
confident that our baby was okay. I was yeah. really relieved. A ton of bricks got off my shoulders. <laughs> like everything was good because I knew Anna. She was fine too. They still did want to take blood work from her. So we had to take blood work because we had to make sure that you know the like I wasn't bleeding internally. Is that what they said? Well, they wanted to make sure that the baby's blood wasn't mixed with your blood. Exactly. Which which is you know too. that's scary. But I didn't think that that would be a possibility because the baby was intact. The placenta was still there and everything like that but you know you never know so we did the blood test and thank god everything was perfectly you, fine Jesus. yeah everything was fine once i got that news i was like oh my gosh mm -hmm. thank you lord and i remember the doctors were like you're good to go and i was like you sure and they're like yeah you can stay if you're comfortable here but you could go and i was like i need to go like i don't want i do not want to stay here any um, longer we were trying to get back to the hotel. i hate hospitals yeah. yeah everything worked out crazy as soon as they told me my baby was fine i felt like i came back to life literally like mm -hmm. i was like okay i'm me again like i can be myself like i'm good yeah. if they would have told us that something was wrong with our son like that would have yeah. been it for me i would have been devastated i would have yeah. lost my yeah. mind so when we got out it was like close to 9 p.m yeah. mind you the accident happened around 4, four, four like it was, it was like 4 15 because we left yeah. the restaurant around 4 so it happened around 4 15 and when we got out it was close to 9 it was still really tough when we came back home that night well not home but to the hotel yeah. because like the scene kept playing in my head of when we got hit and like how traumatic it was <laughs> but thankfully we're here no no thank god honestly <laughs> that we're okay our baby's okay and then the other drivers are okay too because accidents are a real thing like i thought before this i probably wouldn't never get in an accident like i never really thought about what would happen if i were in an accident but you know accidents do happen so you know just don't ever take life for granted every day that you wake up is a blessing it's a gift and yeah. it's a gift exactly so i'm just happy that everybody involved in the accident is okay my family we're good and you know the cars yeah they got damaged but you can always replace a car but you can't replace a life so we're very thankful that god was watching over all of us that day and um, we still have to deal with getting our car fixed and you know going through all the things you have to go through when you get into an accident. So that is gonna be a little stressful moving forward, but- We currently don't have a car right now. We don't right have now. a car right now, so we're trying to figure that out too. Finally, it was time to go Thursday, which was yesterday, and we were like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how are we gonna get back home? We don't yeah. have a car. Anthony was like, we'll just take a flight back home. And I was like, I don't want to fly back to Tampa, even though it's like a 30 minute fly, but I'm like, I'm not trying to fly back to Tampa. And thankfully some of our friends from dinner, which they're honestly not really friends. They're like family to us. Mm -hmm. Love so real. You guys probably seen them on our Instagram. They live pretty close to us and they offer to take us back home. Yeah, so we're very thankful for we're them. We're very too. thankful for them. They're awesome. We love them so much and everything just worked out. Like, you know, although we had a really bad experience and a traumatizing experience with the whole car accident, it felt like all the pieces to the puzzle were there and um what were the odds that love so real was would be there in miami, there in miami with us like come on and no. they were there they were leaving that same day that we were supposed to leave no. so it just all worked out great no. and they were nice enough to take us home with them too so exactly i know they had their girls they have two little no. girls so so they sacrificed their comfort exactly to bring, to bring us home they gave us like the best seating and everything i'm just no. like oh my god yeah it was a good car ride back home trying to not really think about what had happened in miami like what happened in miami stayed in miami yeah and then we got home kind of came back to our mind but we're just so blessed to be back home although we don't have a car we're gonna figure it out material stuff at the end of the day don't matter yeah. what really matters is your health yeah. and life is so precious so and yeah i can't say it enough i'm just so happy my baby boys okay my wife is fine a couple of bruises but we're he gonna kept be telling okay. me after the accident he was like babe like i love you like i love our son like i don't know what i would have done if something would have happened to you guys i wouldn't have been able to live with myself and i'm like don't say that so i do feel really bad about everything that happened because it i was, was not your driving fault. but it was not your I fault know. you need to take that guilt it away was, from i you. know i know but like i was driving at the end of the day yeah but it's so not your it's fault. my responsibility because i was driving listen we're humans baby I everything happens but for i do a reason. feel really bad i feel really bad because at the end of the day i was the one driving okay, so babe. i don't um, want you to put that guilt on you mm. we're me and baby boy are fine like we're I fine know, we love daddy like I know, you're but, a protector and it doesn't matter like it was not your fault babe mm. 
and don't beat yourself up anthony for the past few days ever since it happened he's been low-key beating himself up for that and like feeling really bad because he says that you know he's supposed to protect us and all that and he was driving and you know he feels so bad that it happened but like you said we're humans and things happen not only it's a blessing that we're here but it's also like a wake-up call to not mm. take life for granted no for sure because like, like we would wake up and just think that we're invincible you know like nothing nothing can touch can us happen this day you know everything's gonna be normal but literally it happened in seconds not exactly. even seconds like exactly so from now so. on you know ever since that day i've been waking up praying thanking god being just extra grateful for waking up because it's truly a blessing to open your eyes in the morning i know we take that for granted so much but literally the air you're breathing your hands like your feet your arms your legs like your everything is yeah. a gift and we take that like oh that's so normal like no there's really people out here that get in accidents and lose a leg or lose an arm or lose a loved one and we are blessed to you know still that, be here to still be here and not like not have any injuries because like the way that that accident happened if it would have hit my door versus the other half of the car i would have been hurt really bad or probably wouldn't be here right now guys so we're so thankful again and it was really tough to share this story on camera today so many emotions still come to me when i relive that day but at the end of the day i always love to see the positive mm -hmm. and things and um everything and from, happens for a reason and everything so. and and from this accident i could already see that our baby is so special and mm -hmm. he's chosen he's has a big purpose in this world and he has a big purpose in life yeah. and he's strong he's a little warrior he was able to go through this with us and still be a hundred percent okay you know he he's he's special he's yeah. a special little boy <laughs> and yeah. he has a big purpose in life and i thank god for our baby boy every day and now we're just more cautious oh, and now we're just oh more cautious god. We're more grateful with life. We don't, you know, we're gonna be late, we're late. Like it's not worth, you know, stressing yourself out because you're gonna be late somewhere or, you know, you know, leaving the house without praying or being thankful or grateful. So I just wanna let you guys know, whenever you guys wake up, you know, just be grateful. Be grateful yeah. for another day. Be grateful, pray for protection. Yeah, stay prayed up. Pray. Yeah, you don't know when you leave those doors of your home, you don't know if you're gonna come back. Yeah. Literally, we left that morning super happy. Mm -hmm. Life was amazing boom our life changed completely in a matter of seconds so don't take life for granted guys but yes baby boy is 100 percent okay i'm gonna go do an ultrasound a 3d ultrasound this week <laughs> because i want to see my baby boy's face he's getting bigger he's 23 weeks well he's 23 weeks and two days today which is today's friday actually you guys are probably going to be seeing this video sunday or monday but i do want to take you guys along with us when we go see baby boy 3d i can't wait to see him again. actually 4d not 3d yeah, 4d to see the whole face and everything. Yeah, I need to see my baby boy. I'm anxious to see my baby boy. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you guys along and you guys are gonna see him with us. Um, this was a very traumatic experience, but we took it as a lesson. And the lesson is to not take life for granted. Cause I thought I never took life for granted, but after this accident, I realized mm -hmm. that I was taking life for granted. That, Cause I was just so used to waking up and going about my day. Mm -hmm. But now I'm more grateful. Not that I wasn't before, but now it's like, I'm a lot more grateful and my baby's good. And I can't wait to meet you son you're you have a big purpose in life and <laughs> i love you baby boy he's probably moving oh my god i think this is this is like head or something i don't know but you pressing a little too hard, baby. <laughs> Careful. yeah but with that being said we just wanted to share our story yeah. um and then also please drive safe out there y'all like yes. don't drive reckless always look both ways before you cross any type of road and then look both ways again don't rush for nobody take your time be patient and most importantly be safe whenever you're behind that wheel because they prayed up yeah and stay prayed up because you never know you could be here today and then gone tomorrow um and make the most out of your life and create as many memories as you can with those that you love because every day that we wake up truly is a blessing and it's a gift from god so with that being said we love y'all so freaking much and we're so happy that we're okay and that we're able to come here and talk to you guys yeah it was um, tough it was tough really sharing this story i'm not gonna lie but i'm glad that i made it through and i'm good i didn't want to like work myself up but i just felt like it was necessary because we you're love gonna you be guys. a great mom because you're so strong and oh, like you're, you're built you're dad. really built different oh i love you baby stop I love you too. 
I know, right? It's like I haven't gotten in an accident my whole entire life, and then I get in an accident when I'm five months. Like, come on! Like, obviously, yeah, something's going on. Our baby is special, and he's meant for greatness. And when you're meant for greatness, all the odds come against you and try to ruin that. But nothing's gonna ruin this. Nothing's gonna ruin our baby's greatness. And <laughs> and this, you know, this blessing we have from God. All right, I love you guys, and baby boy loves you guys. I love y'all too. And remember, don't take life for granted and stay safe. We'll see you guys next time.